Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bran from Smart Tech Automation and Controls and today we are going to learn about bit logic in PLC programming and also how they are used in ladder program. So I have opened my step 7 semantic manager and in case you don't know how to reach to this page you can refer to our previous video on hardware configuration. Uh, the link is in the description below. So on the left hand side there is a list and you can see the bit logic on the top. You can expand and these are our bit logics. Uh, they are the instructions which work with either a 1 or a 0. These two digits are called binary digits or bits and for instance if you have a coil one indicates that it's activated and a zero indicates that the coil is not activated or it is uh, not energized. So we'll start by looking at uh, the first bit logic which is a normally open contact uh, and this is the symbol for a normally open contact. I can just click it and bring it to our diagram. Uh, then uh, we have a coil. Mostly you'll find that a normally open contact will always go with a coil because a normally open contact is usually used as an input and a coil is used as an output. So I bring a coil here. Uh, let's give them addresses. So this one I'll give it I 0.0. .0. And for my call, I'll give it uh, Q4.0. So, if I am to simulate this program, when I give a signal to my input, then we are supposed to have an output here. Let's see how this works. So, I'll download uh, the program to my simulator. Uh, then I turn on my simulator and I put it on run mode. So my input is IO.0 so if I give my input a signal 0 you can see that uh, we have uh, we get an output at Q4.0 and if I withdraw the signal the output goes off. So that's how a normally open contact and a coil work. Uh, let's go to the other bit logic which is a normally closed contact. I'll still use my diagram. So uh, let me switch off my my simulator. I want to include a normally closed contact to my diagram. So I'll click it and I bring it here and I'll still need to give it an address. So I'll call it I0.1. So in this case, our normally closed contact will act as a, as a stop button. Uh, let's simulate this and see how it works. Again, I'll, down, I'll download the program to my simulator. Then I switch it on. I put it on run mode. Uh, let's observe what happens when I give a signal to my first input, which is I0.0. You can see that the coil uh, is energized. Uh, but if I give an, a signal to this other input, which is I0.1, it is, it is going to break the contact and our coil will no longer be energized. Uh, so, if I give a signal to 1, you can see the coil, uh, it's no longer energized. We also have another bit logic which is this one here, not, which acts as an inverter. Let's see how it works. Uh, for instance, if I, if I have this diagram, then I introduce a knot. Uh, you'll find that 
when there is no signal at this normally open contact, you'll find that the output is energized. And when you give a signal to this input, uh, the, the output uh, becomes de-energized. And so, uh, this uh, bit logic right here acts as an inverter. Let's simulate it and see. I'll put my simulator on run mode. And before even I can give a signal to my input, you can see that we already have an output at Q4.0. And if I give an input, uh, a signal to input I, I0.0, you'll find that uh, the power has been inverted and therefore there is no, there is no output at this coil. We then have another bit logic known as midline output, this one, which is like a coil with a hash uh, in the middle. Uh, you'll find that uh, when you're doing ladder programming, it's not possible to arrange two outputs in series the way we, ha we had done with with the normally open contact and the normally closed contact. For you to achieve two coils, you have to put on a junction and then uh, you have to arrange them like that. But now this bit logic, the midline output, can help you have two outputs which are arranged in series. So instead of having this, out, uh, this coil here and the other one here, I can simplify my diagram by by putting in this logic right there i can put as many as i can and here i i can give it an address of another output so that uh, when this input gets a signal this coil and this coil gets energized at the same time let's give uh, this logic an address let's call it q4.1 so we are going to simulate it and see how it how it works if i give a signal to my input to my normally open contact you can see that the two coils get energized and if you happen to have uh, like three outputs with the same input you can arrange all of them here maybe you have three or four and that really simplifies your diagram then uh, we have these two bit logics we have the reset and the set they usually work together so let me start by putting in my set logic there then uh, i can create another network and introduce a normally open contact there then i i drag my reset there so let's uh, let's give addresses to to this output we call it q uh, let's call it q4.2 and for our reset we are going to give it the same address as our set q4.2 for the input we are going to use a different input let's call it i0.1 uh, let's simulate it and see if i give a signal to input i0.0 uh, you can see that the uh, the the set is energized and if i withdraw the same signal our set here remains energized so we can use our reset 
uh, to dis to de-energize our set. All we have to do is give an input signal uh, to this I O dot one I zero dot one, and we if we give it a signal, uh, you can see that our set it's uh, it's no longer giving out an output, and so this is how the two of them work together.